when you install PIC ID, one of the first things that you'll be asked to do is configure how you want it to save things. The name of the machine is straightforward. Um, the choice of how you use PIC ID might be, this is it, this is the only machine that you're ever going to run PIC ID on, and that's straightforward. It's the software talks to a local folder, and that's the end of it. But there is a more complicated world where you have a set of machines at a studio which all need to work um, simultaneously. And if you choose this as one of a set of PIC ID workstations, then you'll be asked to configure more folders. So let's, let's look at how it might break down at a studio. You might have, let's say, two workstations. And they both have local storage for high performance things. So when you do a face match, it saves things locally. But you also want to have network storage. For example, all the schools that you know of and long-term databases of the different events that you've shot and so on. So on your internal network, you would set up a folder for all of the different workstations to connect to. And you would configure that um, shared storage, as you saw in that, in that dialogue. Uh, so you have local storage for high performance, stuff that you don't mind deleting at the end of a day, and then you have long-term archival things that need to be accessible to all the different machines sitting somewhere on your network. Now, PicID also has what's called a greeter mode, where uh, installed software running on laptops or tablets can be out in the field, making sure that you know all of the faces of students uh, at a school, let's say. And so there needs to be a way to populate the database on the greeters. And also, if they happen to add additional pictures of kids, they need to be able to push those updates back into the site database in such a way that it's safe, that uh, the, all these greeter machines don't know about the, let's say, the master folder for all the work done at the studio. So for that, we have um, a mode, the production manager would say, okay, the, the things which are going to be happening in the coming week are the following schools. And deployment means selecting a series of schools and pushing a copy of the database to a folder that is visible to greeters out there. And maybe on Sunday night, they log in using a VPN and they pull down the uh, databases, the local copies here for the week to come. Photographing students happens and additional faces get learned. And at the end of the week, once they're back online, the greeters push their updates back to deployment. And part of what the production manager does is pull these back into the main site database. So why so many folders and copying and so on? Because we're not cloud-based. There's It's strictly uh, folders on local hard drives. And that means that these machines can be completely offline while they're in the field. And um, yeah, so anyway, that, that's what these um, folders are looking for. If you're one of a set of machines, day-to-day um, -day stuff would be a local folder that you choose. Shared content production is um, uh, the, the master database, let's say, on the studio side. And if the greeters need to communicate, then I would recommend setting up another share for them. And by the way, the, the greeter uh, functionality is strictly optional. It's if you choose to uh, learn faces on the fly during um, picture day. Enjoy.